Alright, hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is use case 11 of our Apex Masterclass curriculum series. This is Imanshu and let's take a look at our use case 11. Write a method that returns the full form of an acronym. Right? So, pretty straightforward requirement that we put in an acronym. What is an acronym? These are basically short forms of words that we usually use, right? Like BRB, be right back, right? LOL, that's laugh out loud. So, what we'll try to do is that the user will input a specific acronym and our method, our method should be capable enough to return the full form of that particular acronym. Okay. So again, similar to our previous use case, we'll create a repository or master data of all the acronyms, store it somewhere, and then we'll basically call it in our method. Okay. So I'll go ahead and say create apex class and this is apex use case 11. For those of you who are seeing this video for the first time and directly jumping on this video, I'll encourage you to start from video one of this playlist because we cover a lot of stuff about Apex. So let's say public static void. This will not be void. This will again be a string and I'll say check full form for acronym, right? And this will accept one string parameter and that will be basically be the acronym. All right. Again, if I had to write it in English, it would basically be store the master data of all acronyms somewhere. Right? Fetch them and find if the acronym user has input exists in our master data. If it does, return the full form as simple as that. All right. This is what we are trying to achieve. All right. So for, for to be able to do this, first of all, let's take some help of the master data. Now we created custom metadata in our previous requirement. This time we'll switch to something that's called custom settings. Okay. So let's try to leverage custom settings this time. This is also another way to store metadata about data in your org. Like this is more like, you know, storing important identifiers and information that you want to use across your org. org. Okay. So this will be stored in your cache and it will be very easy to pick up by Apex. So I'll just go ahead and say new and similar to how you create custom metadata or custom object, we'll also create a custom setting. So I'll call it acronym master. All right. And the object name will also be acronym master and visibility will be set to public. Okay. I'll go ahead and say save. This has to be with underscores. I'll go ahead and say save. All right. And here I'll just go ahead and say manage. So I can create a new record here. Okay. We have created a hierarchy based custom setting. Instead of creating a hierarchy based custom setting, let's create a list based uh, custom setting. Let, let me take you back and show you where it happened. If I go to custom settings. So unlike custom metadata, you have two options. You see the settings type is set to be hierarchy. If I go ahead and open this particular custom setting, I don't think I'll have a way to change the setting type. Let's go ahead and say edit. So this is used when you are using like, you know, role hierarchy or kind of a hierarchy based system, but we want to just create a list. So we will not go with the hierarchy option. Okay. I think this is just refreshed. Custom settings. View in classic. And here, if you see, this is not available for us to change. All right, because we don't have an option to modify it right now because list type is not enabled. So I want to enable list custom settings. All right. So I'll simply say enable list custom settings in Salesforce, right? So you see, what does it say? It says you can go to home data schema settings and you can enable it. Okay. Let's open this particular help article. And here you'll notice if we want to go to classic, we'll see develop custom settings and setting type. You'll see list. All right. Before doing this, you actually need to configure or enable the list type because right now only hierarchy and type custom settings are available. So to be able to enable it, Salesforce does not enable it by default. Salesforce wants you to enable it by your own, by this particular setting. All right. So we'll simply go to our quick find box and let's type schema settings here, schema settings. 
in the quick find box and here we should see an option to basically say manage list type custom settings also and if we see that option we'll enable it okay see this option manage list custom settings so there are some other options similarly you have this particular option i've just enabled it okay all good now now we can go back to our custom settings let's close this particular page let's close this particular page of no use now let's go to custom settings and let's say let's click on the edit button here and see if we are able to convert this or not if we are able to convert we'll convert this or else we'll delete it and create a new one okay because we did not want to create a hierarchy type we wanted to create a list type custom setting what is the difference the list type is a standard denormalized version of row row level entries that you can make in hierarchy you basically work with the kind of user or the kind of profile that you are looking at so it will basically not let you choose anything else apart from it it will ask you to choose things based on a profile or a user okay this is taking some pain i'm not sure why is this not letting me click yeah okay let's view this page in classic acronym master it's still not allowing us right so let's just say cancel and let's go ahead and say delete i don't want this particular type of custom setting i want to create a list type all right so i'll just go ahead and say new and i'll say acronym master object name will also be same it's just that it will be with an underscore because it cannot accept spaces now the setting type is available and the list type is available okay i'll just go ahead and say save in the list type perfect now let's try to say manage and let's see if it allows us to create records i'll say new so i just have the name field right but i need two fields so what will i do i'll basically go to the custom setting and create a custom field in the custom setting all right let's go back to custom settings let's open this particular acronym master and let's say i want to create a new custom field okay so i'll just say text next let's say full version okay the length will be 255 the maximum length that can that the text field can have i'll just say save all right now i can go ahead and say manage and now i can simply create new records so let's create one record it will be brb b right back save and new okay l o l laughing out loud save and new what else f i i for your information so for those of you who are looking at this video tell me probably three or four acronyms that you guys use in your daily life in your office life or somewhere right so i'll just say a f a i k this is basically as far as i know right let's go ahead and say save and new what is jk just kidding all right what else any office acronyms eod end of day right save and new eobd what is eobd end of business day right save and new let's create one more i am not stopping here ttyl what is ttyl talk to you later okay let's stop here if there are other acronyms that you guys use in your daily life just comment below all right awesome so we have our custom settings created and we have some records under under the custom settings i'm not sure what is happening here let's close this out let's go back and click on classic There's some lightning to classic switch that's happening let's go to setup again it is opening in classic oh, sorry lightning if i type custom settings this is probably a safari issue let's go to custom settings now this will tell me to open it in classic yeah classic so if you see if i go ahead and say manage you see all my records are showing up here perfect all right now if i want to access this particular custom setting let's refresh our developer console and we should start seeing our custom setting if i type acronym 
you see the acronym master object is available and if you notice the custom metadata was underscore underscore MDT but the custom settings are more like the custom object so you see underscore underscore C here okay so what we can do we can simply say ID comma name comma full version and we can just say query right and we'll see all our records showing up here all right similar to how we see the custom metadata also right now with that information and this particular custom setting created let's go back to VS code and let's now query out our acronym masters all right and I'll just pick up this entire query and can I say based on my past learning that I should find one record where the name is equal to whatever the user has input so they will type a brb right so then it should be able to find it here correct now if this particular list returns data that means that the match is found I can just check that by saying if size is equal to equal to one which means I found a record I can simply say return acronym masters of zero dot full version does that make sense okay and if it does not go inside here what should it do it should simply return an empty string right or it should return not specified or did not find nothing fine nothing found save does this look fine let's go ahead and try to save it and then deploy it let's see if it gets deployed perfectly fine or not first of all deploy Yeah, deploy it fine. Let's go ahead and open it here. I'll refresh my tab. I'll say open Apex use case 11. And once this is open, let's go ahead and try to execute it. Right? I'll simply say I want the acronym, the full form for BRB. Let's say execute. Compiled fine. Let's take a look at the debug only log. It says be right back. Perfect. All right. One additional check we can put is if the string is not null. That's all. Okay. Apart from that, this looks good. Awesome. So just comment below some of the acronyms that you use in your daily life with your friends or probably your colleagues in office. And for those of you who looked at the use case nine, I forgot to ask you. We talked about whether to create a method wherein a person is a Gen Z or a millennial or Gen Alpha, right? So tell me what you are. You, are you a Gen Z or a millennial or Gen Alpha or a boomer or some something else? Like, let me know in the comments. Yeah. Awesome. That was all for this particular use case. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.